My interest in art came about really from secondary school. Um, I fell in love with art at GCSE level and um, we were studying Frida Kahlo, so she was my first, uh, first artist whose work I fell in love with. And, but I went a very academic route in that I went to university and studied science, I studied applied biology and after graduation I went on to um, work in the pharmaceutical industry. But during that time I, I was diagnosed with a chronic medical condition called endometriosis and um, that meant that I spent a significant amount of time sick. And during those periods of times, I really started to explore the work. I mean, art is something that I never put down. So even while I was working in pharma, I still continued to paint and explore. But me being sick afforded me more time to really explore. It's while I was studying, so I was very interested in the human form from that perspective and also studying Da Vinci and his study of human proportions. So all of those things that we naturally, I've always naturally been drawn to before I knew that I was going to be an artist anyway. Uh, so I guess that informed my work, especially my early work, where I was attempting to be this figurative or traditional figurative painter and paint the traditional figure in the way that I guess a, figure, a figurative artist would be expected to paint. But uh, I've moved on from there in terms of trying to uh, use the human form as in other bodies to tell stories by literally painting them and now using myself. I want people when they experience my work, whether that's experience, experiencing a performance or experiencing the work in person, just something. The thing is that when it comes to art, everybody's going to, everybody views art through their own lens and through their own personal experience. So no artist can dictate what another human is going to take from that piece of work. All you can do is produce the most authentic work that you can and be the most be your most authentic self in the making of that work and hope that people get something from that work. It doesn't have to be positive and it doesn't have to be and it's it's not bad if it's negative, but to just get something, to maybe learn something, uh, it would be great if people could learn some kind of spiritual truth about themselves or about the world, but you don't have any control over how people take what you make.